Hello, Louis C. Gross II, educational consultant for Manhood Shows Incorporated, dealing with educating our children all over the world, especially in Chicago. But I have as my guest, Ms. Kimberly Hobson, Hello. who's the resource coordinator for YCCS, and she'll explain the acronym with that. But this young lady is out and about recruiting for YCCS, and hopefully your child can be recruited to come into school and learn something rather than being in the street. You know, it's two things. Street, which usually winds up in the morgue or in, in incarcerated. So let's, let's put them in school. And I want you to listen to this, what this young lady has to say. But prior to us getting to Miss Hobson, we want to show you this. This is where we can be reached at. Also, if you have a complaint about the city, Inspector General, especially those red lights. And the question is, today, am I grateful? Thank you. Now, Ms. Hobson. Yes. One other thing. Quote of the week by Carter G. Woodson. I love Carter G. Woodson. He says this, and you just need to listen to this. When you control a man's thinking, yeah. you do not have to worry about his actions. When you control a man's thinking, you do not have to worry about his actions. Look what's happening around you. You do not have to tell him not to stand here or go yonder. He will find his proper place <laughs> and will stay in it. You do not need to send him to the back of the back door. He will go without being told. In fact, there is no back door. He will cut one for his special benefit. Psychologically speaking, when one can... Do, uh, Serve your behavior. Oh, I'm sorry. Psychologically speaking, when one can observe your behavior, then they can predict your behavior, and once predict your behavior, then they can control your behavior. Look what's happening in our city. Look what's happening on each one of your blocks. Look what's happening. And yeah, look at even Ray Charles can see what's going on. And like Einstein said, the thing that caused the problem won't be the thing that solves the problem. Now that I got that off my chest, it's all yours, Miss Hobson. Tell us what's going on. That's a tough act to follow. Oh, <laughs> well, um, I love that quote. That's one of my favorite quotes in the whole world. When I was principal, I was principal of one of the Youth Connection Charter School campuses um, a few years ago before I started working in the corporate um, office okay. for the 19 campuses that we have in Chicago. 19 that, campuses? Yes. Okay. That is one of the quotes, or the quote that I would use at graduation. Um, I always wanted our students to be mindful that they had to pave a way, and if they didn't um, break that ground themselves, then they would be directed to um, experience uh, all the things that are meant for slackers or slackers. When you say slackers, what do you mean? Or aren't thinking. What I mean is, a lot of times we allow things to happen because we're not thinking. We're not using our brains and um, opening up our um, horizons. And I always taught my students mm -hmm. to explore their horizons. Ex and they, one of our goals was to always expose them mm -hmm. to things within the city of Chicago and within the United States and um, in, in terms of travel, but mm -hmm. also um, we were able um, to explore the world, to move from a microcosm where there are small communities mm -hmm. um, to the macrocosm of this city micro, and this micro. world. And so we <laughs> wanted our students to see the world and that opened their horizons. And that's why we had 100% um, acceptance rate into, into college. And 80, oh, and, uh, for Youth mm -hmm. Connection Charter School, 80%, we're right now at uh, over 80% of our students go on to post-secondary, whether that's college, military, um, and also work because of the post-secondary stresses that we have in the high school setting. I've got a question. Yes. We talk about the students. What about their parents? Okay. Are they like a days ago? You know, why do we have a problem having our children go to school when they got parents that need to be sent to school? Okay. What, what's the problem there? Well, uh, every situation is unique, and I hate to generalize students because every 
person has their own specific story. Mm -hmm. And if you go to our website at uh, yccs.us, you'll find out more and more about right, the this. stories that our students have. And those stories are telling um, in terms of where the parents are oh, and, and what they have an opportunity to, to write down what's going on. Yeah, Is you it know, sad? Well, a lot of the stories are sad. And there's something. Uh, but I wouldn't say that they're sad because mo a lot of them have victories. And so that the student has now is now back in school. And that is our slogan. Our slogan is not just a second chance, but a better chance. And that slogan came from one of our students oh. who was a student at Innovations High School. And mm. Innovations is located on State Street, 17 North State Street, right um, in the middle of downtown in the Loop. And so what his testimony was, he had uh, gone to dual enrollment, he mm -hmm. had experienced job training and job placement through YCCS programs, and he said that this is not, and ours used to be a second chance, but it's better than a second chance, it's a better chance, because not only do we uh, push our students to achieve, uh, not only do we care about what they are learning and wh how they're growing, not only do we motivate them, but we also require and have high expectations of them to learn um, and grow academically as well as socially and emotionally. So we have a holistic point of view of working with mm -hmm. our students. It's integrated, huh? Yes. Question. To the audience out there. Yes. Okay, you got 19 schools. We do. What are the locations? What's the, like the grid? Okay, what's what's south? What's north? What you know? Very good question. Just give me one, you know, uh, one school. If is, you go to our website at yccs.us, mm -hmm. you'll find that we have campuses all throughout the city of Chicago, as far south as Olive okay. Harvey Middle College, okay. as far north as Truman Middle okay. College, okay. and they're located on the Chicago City College campuses. We mm -hmm. also have campuses in Humboldt Park, North Lawndale, and Auburn Gray in Bronzeville and so there are 19 campuses spread throughout the city of Chicago mm -hmm. that are easily accessible for students on any uh, mode of transportation in the city of Chicago. So now if I'm a parent and I want to bring my child to one of those schools, yes. what would be the number I could use? The number that you can use to enroll your students is 312-328-07 Nine Now that is the number to our main office in 10 West 35th Street. 10 West 35th. 10 West 35th Street, and our recruiter can help you enroll in any one of our 19 campuses. Well, I and I yes. urge students to respond quickly. Can I, uh, because just put this on the overhead for you? Sure. We, you I urge again. students to respond quickly okay. because seats are fill, filling up. Read that again. We are YCCS at 312-328-0799, and our main office address for is 10 West 35th Street in Chicago. Thank okay. you. We'll get that back to you. But, you know, in this day and age, let me just say this. Being in your back won't work anymore. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, even being a car salesman won't work anymore because now they have what you call a computerized Listen to all the cars and inventory with a price on it. So car salesmen, you got a problem too. Mm -hmm. So you have to realize that technology is good and it's bad. It's bad in the sense that people lose their jobs. But it's good to know that you can go to YCCS and learn something and be viable candidate to work and be a productive citizen. I should say that yeah. one of the our goals um, is also in terms of our students becoming productive mm -hmm. citizens. We've um, registered over a thousand. We've registered a thousand students per year to vote. And this oh, is yeah. this upcoming election, November fifth. Uh, our theme is why the vote and your vote matters. Mm -hmm. Uh, or why why vote because your vote matters. And so we want our students not only to um, be registered not only to vote on the day mm -hmm. of the election, but also be engaged and know who the players are, what offices right, right, are right. Um, up for election. Because right now, Mike Madigan is trying to, to usurp the black vote in terms of redistricting. You know, I'm so, you know, that's a shame. 
Now, we have a caller. Question and comment caller. Go ahead. You're there. I have a question. You know, maybe you guys think I'm a paid ringer. When you when you talk about different types of uh, educational options, the Sun Times and the University of Chicago did this study that forty percent of Chicago public school teachers they send their own children to private school. Now, why hmm. should if you got uh, teachers in Chicago public schools send their children to private school? Why should we entrust these charter schools to educate our children? Well, that is a really good question, of proximity. and I think that. Uh, I, I cannot answer the question, you know, for all Chicago public school teachers, but the, that is an excellent question, which is one of the things that I think um, sets our school apart from mm -hmm. most schools is that we're a high-performing school. We're level one mm -hmm. um, based on the Chicago Public Schools SQRP. And Explain that to the, to the public. So the performance indicators for um, students coming in, we're at, a, we're at a high ranking performance. So if you scale it from A, B, C, D, okay. all of our 19 schools um, average together. Can I have a question after that? Yes, I'm sorry for looking up. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, you remember <laughs> that guy we had before that was the, uh, the head of the uh, Chicago Public School, Arnie Duncan? Yeah. Yes. Back in Chicago, and he had a child. And since he was the head, uh, like the head of Chicago Chicago Public School, uh, I do believe it's reported his child attend private school. Now, how can you, you know, he know all the different education options and all that. Uh, do you think he would choose to send his child to your school, perhaps? I'm, I'm not. I I don't know the answer to that question. Perhaps I don't. I mean, he hasn't. So I wouldn't expect that he would. But uh, what I will say is a Youth Connection Charter School cares about each one of its students. And that's what, if you talk to any of our students, the fact that we, oh, we have open arms and we care about our students, that is the number one testimony of our students. And not just care about them, care about their success. And so I, I, I um, that is a very good question and one that Take we care. should bring to I'm the sorry table. I'm I made you sweat a little bit. Lewis know who I am. I'm not a dead <laughs> ringer. Nobody paid me to kill your show and make you sweat. There's always <laughs> pros and cons. That's, that's my guy. He's cool. Thank you. Thank you for that good, insightful question. But also, one thing about uh, YCCS, proximity, nearness. Your kid can go to school all over the city. Mm -hmm. You know, in each sector. But we got a caller. Question or comment. Caller, go ahead. You're on the air. Uh, yes. Uh, how y'all guys doing? Hey, it's a wonderful wow. day off. You know what? I'm going to, you know, listen. Until the playing field is level, I'm going to send my kids. I, I sent all my kids to private schools ever since in the 70s. Mm -hmm. I don't have no younger kids now, but even my great-grandchild goes to a private school. Until they level the field. You got to understand, it's not the idea that uh, CPS, CPS is doing the best that they can and only what they can. So, I mean, until they level the field as such as schools in the suburbs and private schools, if you can't afford it, naturally, you're going to send your kids to a better school. Everybody wants their child to get a little better knowledge than what we got when we was younger. Come on, how can the CPS still be reading out of books that ain't adequate? Right. It's old as I Third don't edition. know what. Now, if you can't afford it, send your child to a private school. Again, I am a CPS school uh, a man that went to CPS, and I think I did pretty good. But that's either here or now. The thing is, it's not even. Until then, if you could afford it, borrow it. <laughs> I don't know what you got to do, but you try to get your kids the best knowledge and best education that they can. Uh, thanks for taking the call. Uh, let me get out the air so Thank I can you. hear your response. Thank you. Um, I agree. We want our students to have the best education pro possible. Mm -hmm. And I think that part of that is making sure as parents that there are parents who are engaged. We can't say that every parent is not. And so parents being engaged in the educational process, you know, understanding what is being taught to their child and um, asking the, those hard questions and making the uh, school officials sweat about, you know, 
what it is their students are learning. Uh, that's important. What do we want? Uh, we've already identified at YCCS mm -hmm. what we think every student should know and be able to demonstrate once they leave to demonstrate that they are ready for post-secondary, ready for college. And so part of that is also our students are experiencing college while they're in high school. We pay for, along <coughs> with Chicago City Colleges, our students to um, attend college, have college credits. Over 700 of our Bridging students, that's almost one a quarter of our students are taking post-secondary learning. Then we have another group who are in job training and job placement. We have internships, paid internships throughout the city of Chicago. And so we're very proud of the partnerships that we have with um, uh, various corporations throughout the city of Chicago. And if you go to our website, yccs.us, you can learn more about that. Okay. Uh, are your students meeting the benchmarks in terms of you know, you know, the ACT of you know, science, math, English, reading, in terms of getting ready to make that transition to college? Because I know a lot of kids all over the, uh, not only the city, but all over the state have had a problem once they got to college in terms of those benchmarks. So... Were you already focusing on that, your time? Yeah, well, we're focusing on, again, post-secondary, mm -hmm. getting our kids ready for college. So post-secondary is after high school. Right. Getting them ready for success after high school, that means that they need to pass the Compass exam. The Compass right. exam now is the entrance exam for Chicago City Colleges. And so okay. in order for them to take those dual, and red, um, dual credit courses mm -hmm. where yeah, they are proficient. earning high school credit and college credit, mm -hmm. they have to pass that Compass exam. Exam, and that's me. That means they're college ready, and so and that's to, that tests them in writing, um, reading, Science, mathematics, math, math. and yeah. so yes, uh, those are key, yeah. and those are key competencies our students need to know. Got a call, a question, comment, call. You're on the air. Go ahead. I want to make this quick comment. If you want to know whether or not that uh, primary school is really good, they are good and bad on both sides, public and private. Mm -hmm. Go to their graduation. If about 20% of those children that are graduating, they did not get into the, um, the real good high school, including private school, they're not getting scholarships, that should tell you something right there. Go to the graduation to ask questions. See what high school they're going to. And like I said, if 20% not, not get into those uh, selected enrollment school, not getting into the private school, not getting the scholarships, there's a problem. Take care. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, they always say this. I think it was uh, George Washington Carver. No individual has the right to come into this world without a distinct and legitimate reason for passing through it. A lot of times we see these kids on the street. Mm -hmm. Are you all trying to reach out to, to the, that young man that's dropped out, that young lady that's dropped out, and on the verge of really either going to jail or going to the morgue? What do you think? Uh, uh, what, what, you know, what's the recruitment mechanism for that? That's a good question. We started out in 1997 as a, a dropout center, as, a, oh, okay. as an alternative, alternative program okay. for students who dropped out of high school. We serve students ages 16 to 21, mm -hmm. and the purpose uh, when we first came on board, <coughs> we're a nonprofit organization, so we're not a, uh, we're a nonprofit institution not that profit. serves, that uh, was designed to serve CPS dropouts. Oh, and back oh. in 97, remember, mm -hmm. about 50% of um, CPS's um, students were dropping out of right, high school. Right. And so At 16, what, what Paul Vallis, and we're going to another history of yeah. um, edu CEO. education leaders, yeah. um, came up with the idea of chartering all of these campuses or chartering all of these institutions mm -hmm. or programs, I should say, that were all over the city of Chicago. At that time, there were 28, and we... Uh, came together under the same umbrella of Youth Connection Charter School and it was Youth Connection Charter School who brought that brought this model together. So many of our campuses have been in existence for over 40 years. Mm. And so we have come up with a model that works for this population of students mm. that you're talking about, not only to recruit them but to uh, educate them. Not only do we have post-secondary programs, but we have interventions for students who are struggling in school. We also have interventions uh, for students who I not only need academic growth, but also social emotional when growth. When you say interventions, you know, can you explain that? 
Um, what I mean by interventions is if a student is struggling in mm. reading or math or they have behaviors that are uh, barriers to education or other barriers that are constricting or restricting mm. them from learning, then we, wa we uh, deliver the skills so that they will be able to take uh, full charge of their own lives so that they can have academic success. Mm. That's great. You know, educational statement. The purpose of education is to transmit from one generation to the next the accumulated wisdom and knowledge of the society and prepare children for their future participation in the maintenance and development of the society. Mm. Is that still the same philosophy? Or has yes. it changed? I think it is. And that's one of the reasons that we are supporting as education sponsors the upcoming on September 9th through 11th, okay, the um, Hip Hop Summer Fest. Now, we all think that's fun, but it will also be an opportunity for students, uh, youth and families to come out and enjoy some old school hip hop, <laughs> new school R&B, right? comedians, yes. Mm -hmm. Comedians as well as fashion uh, will be there. And YCCS will be there recruiting students. Mm -hmm. uh, we will be there talking to parents, talking to youth who are not in school, who are between the ages of 16 and 21, and registering them in school. We have several campuses that will be mm -hmm. on site as well as <laughs> I will be there not only working but enjoying the old school hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> you too young for the old school hip hop. <laughs> Oh, by the way, hello, Molly, my granddaughter. I haven't hey, forgotten Molly. you. <laughs> hello, Molly. <laughs> now, you know what? Every parent, did you know it's 1,500 children that are homeless? Mm. Where are you, parent? Where are you? I'm kind of hard on them because there's a lot of times I see them, you know, doing other things other than, you know, tending to their children. Mm. And then there's other people, you know, tend to their children. But you got something to say. It's only three types of people. Either you're a spectator, you're looking. Either you're a critic because you got something to say, you usually ain't about nothing, or either you're a player. And when I say player, you get involved. You come to school, you see what your child is doing. You know, matter of fact, you wake your child up to make sure that they go to bed early, get up early, and, and, and you know, hit hit those books. That's what we have to start doing. Uh, what, you, what was your take on what I just said? You know, what's your position? Well, I know I'm kind of critical. Well, as I said, uh, Louis, there. We have, uh, we have parents who are fully engaged and we celebrate our parents. We have parent programs at YCCS to celebrate parents and parental involvement. We Do you all meet once a month or something like yes, that? Yes, we yeah. meet once a month and, some, and, and it's a campus-based thing. So every campus has a, a parent program where mm -hmm. parents come in and um, so a, a, a community of parents who are involved in the school. Uh, for instance, when I was principal, we had parents who volunteered, who were making calls, calling students and say, hey, get back and give it, where have you been? Mm -hmm. And it was great to see the parents on, on our field trips and in our schools and even taking lessons. So we have classes and courses for parents uh, to get certifications, et cetera. And so I agree with you, parents are so important and that's why we open our doors and welcome them and um, support uh, parents during this process of, of a difficult process of raising what teenagers. One other question. Do you have any types of programs that will address the issues of these children after school? You know, yes. like Quickly. Well, there are a number. I mean, for instance, um, we have manhood um, courses and, manhood. and certain uh, to teach uh, to teach the skills and develop young men from mm -hmm. adolescence into um, into adulthood. Yeah, yeah, and same thing transition. with women, um, young women making that transition. And so, there are a number of programs that performance arts, technology, mm -hmm. um, social skills, social programs. That they're engaged in. One more time before we go, uh, yeah, address and find. Uh, please go to apply to yccs.com to apply for um, enrollment. Apply to yccs.com, and you can call us at 312-328-0799. Thank you, Miss Hobbs. Thank now, you. Want to say this? Get your child in school and off the street. You need to do that. Yes. Now. To my granddaughter, I love you. See you shortly. To the rest of you all, I have this to say. If you feel as though you run out of rope, tie a knot and hang on. Everything's going to be okay. I assure you. Good night.